Hello YouTube. Today we're working on a Pontiac G6 3.5 liter. It's the same as Chevy Impala 3.5 or the Malibus or many other vehicles with a 3.5 liter. If you watch the different videos online, you'll see a lot of people tell you to just take the cap off to bleed off the air. That didn't work. It just started overflowing because your engine is airlocked when you've replaced a water pump or radiator or thermostat you get too much air in there and it won't bleed out so what you do i left mine tight and i came over to the side i found a video where a guy said to loosen up this bolt here i loosened it up and it really did nothing so then i started thinking well we gotta get this air out so i loosened it up about a half inch back to about here and i pulled the pipe out and I let it bleed the air. I could automatically hear it starting to hiss and dripping a little bit of water out. So I let that run until a steady stream of antifreeze started coming out. And then I pushed it back in with my thumb seated, my ratchet wrench, and I tightened up that bolt. And automatically my vehicle sat at 200 degrees, 190 degrees, and I didn't have any more problem with it overheating. And uh, I did, you know, while it was getting coming up, I would, you know, loosen it up to relieve the pressure and then tighten the cap back up. And then you'd see it cycle through and there's put in more antifreeze as needed. So my disclaimer is try this at your own risk, even though it will work.